Hi everyone, it's Michelle with Women of Whiskies. Thank you for joining me. So in today's under three minutes review, we are going to be reviewing Lucky 7 Holiday Toast. Lucky 7 comes in at 115 proof. It's non-age stated. It is a limited release that's double oak and the master distiller is Ashley Barn. So I'm so glad that I finally came across this bottle. I um, have been looking for it for a while and was very excited when I had the opportunity to pick it up. So I've heard a lot of hype about this and let's go into it. There is so much brown sugar and cinnamon on that nose. Yeah, like, like an apple pie, exactly what a holiday would smell like. Brown sugar, cinnamon, um, that slight hint of, of green apples in a pie baking. It's a wonderful nose. Well, let's see what it tastes like. Yeah, there's that brown sugar, a lot of it. It's sweet, it's very sweet. Um, it's brown sugar, with baking spices though on the on the middle of the of the palette. Let me take another sip. Yeah, it's baking spices with that sweet vanilla. Like sweet vanilla, like I, I usually say white cake, white frosting. Um, this one reminds me of if you've made one of those homemade gingerbread houses and the roof has the icing on it and you peel the roof off and you take a bite of that with the gingerbread and the icing and maybe some of those little sprinkles on it. That's what it reminds me of. Yeah, you really get the baking notes and like nutmeg and cinnamon, that gingerbready kind of flavor, but that lingering sweetness on the back is phenomenal. The finish on this is amazing. I very much like this. I could just sit here and sip on it. I'm so glad that I got a backup. So there you have it, a Lucky 7 Holiday Toast. I'd give it nine out of 10. Thank you for joining me. I am Michelle with Women of Whiskies. Just remember, there's no wrong way to drink your whiskey. Just share it with your friends and drink it how you like it. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.